everything together. It makes for a more stable shot. Why don't you do it one more time just so they see what you did. Real simple. Takes less than a second. There is no excuse for not doing this. Any swing can do this. Now this is not the best swing for a couple of reasons. One of them is you have to use some muscle to keep this tight. You have to kind of work that elbow out. And the less <laughs> muscle you use, the better. Muscle gets tired. Muscle shakes. Muscle moves. The other problem with it is his elbow is off to the side. You're going to want that directly underneath the rifle, no matter which position you're in. So this is fast, but it's not the best. The second best is what's called the hasty swing. Now the way the hasty swing works, you start by holding the rifle up in front of your face with your, your trigger hand. Just hold it up in front of your face. Reach through with your support hand as far as you can. Bring that hand up in between the swing and the stock, and then rotate the rifle in place. You guys see how he did that? That's called the hasty swing. This is a lot better. Elbows where it belongs, directly underneath. He doesn't have to use muscle to keep it tight. Any swing can do this. The old joke used to be you could even use a necktie off a dead enemy officer and nail it to your rifle stock. Any, any swing can do this. However, it can slip. What can happen over time is this connection here can move around a little bit and we'll see a little bit of motion there. The absolute best way to use a swing is what's called a loop swing. This is what we're going to want you guys to do. Use a loop swing, start from a kneeling position to keep the rifle safe. Butt stock's on the ground. You're not gripping it between your legs. You're resting it there, leaning it back against your body. That way you can reach around and work on it with both arms. And it's not going anywhere. It's in a safe direction. Always the most important thing. Use a loop sling, you start by detaching your swivel. You don't you only need that one section. Sure. I didn't see anybody here with a 1907 sling. That's good. This is a cheap M1 Garand sling for like eight bucks. You can see, easy to get. You see that little box there, the buckle? That's where you're gonna make your loop, in the center of that box. Push it out and make a nice big loop. Big enough to easily put your arm. Once you've done that, make a half twist towards your trigger hand. Keep it right handed, half twist towards the trigger hand. Then stick your support hand all the way through, up above the bicep, all the way up to the shoulder if you can do it. And then rotate it so the buckle and stuff is on the outside of your arm. And then tighten it down. When you do the half twist to get the stuff on the outside, that keeps the sling from loosening on you and, and falling down. This will keep it tight once you're in position. Once you've got that, same as before, hand, hand goes up between the rifle and the sling, just like that. Okay? Now, one more thing we're going to talk about. This, this is how to use a loop swing. Go ahead and get in position. I'll show them how it looks, and then we'll talk about prone. what's going on with the swing. This is how you want the loop swing. You want some tension there. You should be able to play a tune on it. It's flat on the back of the hand. That's why we did that half twist. And this is comfortable. And it's up on the arm as far as you can get it. If it slips down to your elbow, it doesn't do you any good. This is the proper use of the swing. It takes about four seconds once you're good at it. That's it. This is the best way to do it.